Hey, good morning to everybody. So look at what we have here. Oh, there's nobody there. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so welcome to this new episode of Hybrid Solution Diagnostics. So we're working today in this uh, 2016 Toyota Fielder and in which I want to show you in a very much detail the very importance to keep your high voltage battery fully in balance okay so we have discussed many reasons why the, these batteries need to be serviced but this time actually this is going to be a short video okay but I'm going to show you with much details how we balance it and the importance to keep a proper balance just by simply using the mechanical balancer we did that already but we're just gonna deep dive in this episode right so stick around and we will continue there Hi again. So as I said, I'm going to show you with the much details, however it's going to be a short episode, but what is the real importance to keep your high voltage battery fully in balance. Now one thing before we continue, I want to thank everybody for following the channel. We have reached finally 4,000 followers. We are impressed. Okay, so thank you so much for following. And this tutorial is gonna be you're gonna have to pay attention alright because this is master class level lesson okay now let me show you all right so we have this is a battery pack a battery pack uh, modules from this 2016 Toyota Fielder and we are having the batteries already been serviced we have lots of videos about that okay we already connected to the machine to fully uh, charge but right now she's in balance process all right so the balance process is this literally balancing <laughs> no i'm lying okay so when we talk about balancing we're talking about equalize the voltage between the modules with 100 percent accuracy but the one thing is we still haven't discussed the importance to keep it in balance especially the module itself because they not only balance the modules between them but also the module within we'll say what the hell are you saying what do you mean the modules within well it's very easy remember that a module it has one two three four five and six individual cells okay which we sadly cannot monitor the behave internal resistance or voltage of those individual cells because we are we only monitor the whole module as a unit that's why we call it a module and not a cell this is a module however still worse not only one module but a pair so the computer monitors the modules in pairs of blocks so the real data when you're reading these batteries in your scan tool is not accurate it's, all, it's just um, average let's let's call it like that let's make it simple and the problem is because of that there is no way that you can really know the proper state of health of the battery and the proper state of charge of the cells because you cannot read it so Jose, how do we get rid of that? Let me show you. Once again, we have a tutorial about balancing the battery. Okay, so we know that it's going to equalize. But what we want to see is what happens inside the module when this balancing process begins to get through. Like for example, we have this perspective. So this is um, saying one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is a module in perspective, all right? Let's say an average of measuring of the state of charge in percentage, okay? Remember, this is average. And the average state of charge of the cells over time. 
once again let me remind you they do not have a self balancing system within the cell within the module so nobody keeps the cell the module in balance somebody has to do that and that is exactly what we're doing today let me show you again okay so what are we seeing here we're seeing the cell number one with a state of charge definitely a little higher than the cell number two as well as the three but look at the state of charge of the number four now the real problem is that the cell number four is the one who's going to determine the strength of the battery in other words the overall module state of health so how do we measure that we measure that in percentage depending of the capacity and we haven't discussed yet the this very important topic of capacity of this battery and today's the first lesson let's continue all right so usually when you have a cell with a cycle that's supposed to discharge and charge discharge and charge as you see over time some of the cells they begin to discharge a little faster than the other the problem is when you're recharging and the strongest one reaches the maximum okay the weakest one won't and that is a real problem now why because this one is not going to charge anymore and when this one reaches the very top that is what the computer is going to read that is to the very end so it won't allow this one this one or this one to charge anymore in other words look at the difference distance between number four to number one for example and this represent this space over here represents your loss capacity we'll say what are you saying well in other words if you see this battery overall we have approximately a battery of a little less than 70 percent of its real capacity that means that the battery cannot charge more than this level remember we have one two three four five and six individual cells connected in series okay in series this is how it flows all right and finally to the negative the problem is once one single of the cell reaches the maximum state of charge the weakest one won't and the weakest one as i said connected in series is a chain and a chain is as strong as its weakest link which is this one and this one once again determines your loss capacity i hope you're following so how do we avoid this to happen well especially the batteries in hot weathers okay where the battery gets a lot of temperature and begin to swell and begin to leak out the electrolyte which is that blue or green sugar corrosion that you see that's the that's the electrolyte leaking out hence the more electrolyte hence the more corrosion the less capacity will have okay we have videos about that but today is about balancing and the importance to keep it in balance and to prevent the battery uh, to really go bad losing more and more capacity okay let's continue okay so let's say that we have the batteries connected right now in parallel so when we talk about parallel we're talking about the electrolytes and the negative poles okay is where the uh, sorry the electrolytes the electrons okay I'm talking about the voltage, the real charge. If you connect it in parallel with one single cell or module with a tiny little difference in state of charge or the tiny little, uh, let's call it potential difference, the cell, the state of charge are going to equalize between each other with 100% of accuracy. So this process takes take some time actually you with for the 20 modules I will strongly recommend I'll say 48 hours it's a good thing but once you do this okay of course after you properly charge okay you took the battery for into probably 8 volts okay which is enough 
it's enough for what? We'll say, tell me. Well, this is exactly what we what it's happening here. This one's gonna go down a little bit, this one's gonna go up, up, up until finally all of them are going to equalize at the very same state of charge assuming that the battery is in good condition and only has a the normal loss capacity that happens in time simply because it doesn't have any self balancing system but the thing is look now once we achieve to equalize the state of charge of the individual cells within the module we can now finally properly cycle the battery and my loss capacity will be zero or close to zero and I could have again fully charged and have my battery charge 100% so as long as you can charge your battery at 100% that is telling you that you are using the full capacity of your module so in this case we're having 20 it takes time okay this is a very slow process and needs to be done so after you let's say service in the battery let's say recondition we don't have a video recondition it's coming don't worry wait for it but you need to understand properly okay the servicing you have to understand how uh, temperature affects the battery and then right now and this master class is understanding the importance of keep the battery in balance so you know what really happens inside the um, module okay follow the Instagram page we are now active in the social media so if you want to have direct contact with us if you want to discuss any topics okay we are also creating an amazing new pilot program for online training for anybody anybody can really work with this you just need the proper training all right you have you will have all the access all the information just follow the Instagram for the direct message all right so I hope you guys like this episode okay stick around and we might see you in the very next episode okay bye bye